So it's Halloween and you want to make a costume. Well, I've got an idea for you. How about an Ewok? Well, that's what I did because my daughter is going to be an Ewok, so I figured I'd get one for my dog. So this is how to make an Ewok costume. Oh, oh, that's not good. Ah, there we go. All fixed. Make an Ewok pet costume. As you can see, they look exactly the same. Huh. Okay. So your situation is you just need a general pet, pet costume or you want to specifically look like an Ewok. Either way, this, this is here to help you. Um, that's the final product there and um, not the one on the right. Obviously, that's um, a child. But um, the dog, yep, that's the final product. So the reason the picture of the toddler is in there uh, with an Ewok costume is because that's what I bought for my daughter. Now, if that's of interest to you and you're a, you have a toddler, uh, be forewarned that this advertised for two to four years, but is actually more relevant for 18 to 24 months. I've got more details, and um, I'm probably going to put them out in an upcoming video on how I did a fix, but that's a different video for a different day. So, your problem is that you probably can't find what you need. What I found was that at Amazon and even on Etsy, all the Ewok costumes for pets all seem to be designed for small pets. Okay, well, so here's my workaround. These are two different end results. The first one is on the left. That's the one I tried. Um, Michael's only had that particular fur in stock, which I was not particularly a fan of. It turned out looking okay. But when I went back to Michael's, they actually had a different kind of fur in stock. That's why I made the one with black to uh, match my dog's color. It turned out that, that was not the best way to go. High contrast is actually better. I would have been better with the light. Uh, I'm still not a fan of the, uh, the leopard print because it's just kind of camouflage. I wanted a clear, decisive outline, but I gotta work around with those little arm cuffs that I did with duct tape. But anyway, so here's the acquisition list. So first of all, you need some kind of animal that you wanna dress up. Your dog, cat, leopard, elephant, Ewok without fur, etc. Then you need a hanger. I used a pant hanger because it was shorter and that, that worked out well for me. Maybe you'll need a full-size hanger if you got a big dog. And then you need some fake fur. Uh, I'd recommend going to Joanne's Fabrics or something like that. Uh, it was closed when I went out hunting, so I ended up just getting six of these 9 by 12 fake fur things from Michael's. Um, they're from Createology or something like that. You can find them on their website too. They have various colors. They'll vary by stock in store. Anyway, so then you'll need a scrap material for a scarf. You'll need some rubber bands and Velcro, Velcro strips, ideally, as well. Um, safety pins, uh, maybe you'll want a hot glue later. I didn't, and I won't, um, but that might be on your table. Then, finally, optional spear, a stick, a saw, some duct tape, and other tapes. And now we're going to run through how to build it. So, these are the bits of fur that I got the second time around, and I used six of them, and they come in 9 by 12 little cuts. So you take your hanger and stretch it all out, expand it. The benefit of the pan hanger was that it already had these little hooks on the end, so it's not going to stab out the end and poke my dog or poke me. And then you just wrap that fur around the hanger as such, and then rubber band it. And I did it in three spots, on the right-hand side, in the middle, and on the left. So the right-hand one was to get a paw-sized bit. Then you do your other side, so then you have two arms. And now you've got to do your middle. So all you do is you take that 9 by 12 put it under the hanger, and then fold it over and safety pin it. Uh, you don't need to roll it because you're going you're gonna to need that excess in a second. So there's me safety pinning. And now we have our next piece to put on. Now this is just going to drape down in the front, and it's also the spot where your head, dog's head is going to go through. So I pinned it on one side, pinned it on the other. And you can see there's where my dog's, dog's head is going to go through. And there's my dog, Pepper. And now we just need to put the leg fur on her. So there's the first one. I just wrapped it around the leg and put a, a Velcro strip on it. Uh, don't put the Velcro strip too tight. And I had the leg up a little higher so her toes would kind of show. They aren't showing in the photo, but they do end up in the end. And then I'll put the other leg on, just laid her down and wrapped it around. Velcro, and then that's just what it looks like in between the gap in between, so they're not tethered to the, the bit that's hanging down yet, which is the next step. So just go ahead and safety pin it to that bit that's hanging down, and also put your Velcro strips around the top of the legs. Again, don't be too tight, and it should look something like that. And what you want to do as well is you can see it kind of flares out a little on the side, so you want to go ahead and safety pin that back because it'll give it a better look. 
Now, the next bit, I had an old rag, so I didn't take pictures of how I put all that together because it was it was torn up and yeah, it was just an old t-shirt. I put her head through the armhole and I cut some holes for the ears. And then I just kind of wrapped the rest around and safety pinned it in a bunch of spots so it just kind of looked like the Ewok pictures. And so that's that's her on the left soon after it's done. And that's when I realize one of the challenges of having a black dog with black fur for Ewok is that anytime she was not standing exactly like that, then all I saw was black. So because that silhouette was not high contrast, it didn't bode well. So I wish I would have gone high contrast. But I mitigated that by putting uh, some duct tape around the Ewok arms to make them stand out as, as kind of like jewelry or something like that. And then I also had some shiny twist ties that managed to work as wristbands. So it just it further accented that the fact that it was an arm. And I also really tweaked those elbows way out more than they would be to give it that show of arm, armness. So that's it when, when it's off the dog. So it actually looks looks pretty neat just by itself. Yeah, I put the little three X's across the head thing. If, if you look at uh, Wicket in Star Wars, it's like a little leather strap that they use to sew in like these little three X things to, I don't know, hold it together or whatever. But anyway, so the last bit is the spear. So the spear is just a stick. And then I took a saw and cut into the end of the stick to allow a, a point to go in the end. And then, so to make that point, uh, the arrowhead, I um, folded over some white duct tape a bunch of times. You might use gray duct tape. I think they're actually more gray in the movie. And then after you fold it over a bunch of times, just go ahead and trim it to look like a point and slide it in that little uh, slit that you put in the end of the stick. And um, I followed up with uh, some tape around there and some non-gray tape uh, to make it look, I think it was some brown tape. And then I also put feathers on there, which you can't really see well in this picture, so I'll just jump back up for a second. And these are just d different masking tapes. I had a green masking tape, which you can't really see in this one, um, a blue, and then a white thing that was left over from something else. And I just cut them to make look like feathers, and then I cut little slits along them to give it kind of the worn feather look and drew some veins on them. And that's, that's it. Um, it might have uh, taken me an, an hour, and an hour and a half, maybe two hours, depending on how much you tweak or something like that. Could it have gone more in depth? Sure. You could maybe uh, take a different color and give the belly look like they've got. I think some of them have a different color belly, but this worked for me. It was, it was sufficient and I'm happy with it and I'm just going to go this route. So that that ends all of that. Um, so if you found it useful, please uh, drop a thumbs up. Um, that's it for me.